Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jose. And I'm Emma. And that's Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, man. He, last video, I, I was kind of out of pocket when I said oh. that I find Teddy kind of annoying. Oh, you said that? I said that oh, and I regret rude. it. Yeah, you said you were going to slap the shit out of me. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then uh, I owe you one. But as soon as, and I feel really sad because as soon as we started setting up today, Teddy ran into the closet and started changing into a green shirt. And I was like, oh my <laughs> god. And so he obviously wants to get in on the fun. Yeah. And so I apologize. He's a team player. You know what? From now on, it's Jose, Emma, and Teddy, Teddy. <laughs> sometimes Bambi. And <laughs> Jose. Yeah. But in other news, happy St. Patrick's Day to all you food fans. Leprechaun looking people. <laughs> um, today is today is St. Patrick's Day. Um, cheers. Jose's got green beer. I've got a little green. Oh, sorry. I've got a little green champs and uh, Aaron Go Bra. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, Something about a bra. <laughs> um, today's actual St. Patrick's Day because we like I'll get into it later but like I always forget when St. Patrick's Day is I get messed up like I, I do it a day off so <laughs> yesterday I was like oh we should totally post our video tomorrow and then we're like oh wait tomorrow is the day anyway so obviously we have corned beef and cabbage which you saw the preparation of um, we've got corned beef, we've got roasted potatoes, cabbage, um, some homemade Irish soda bread, and some carrots. And Carrots. then actually, I did throw some onion into the mix when we weren't filming. I just decided to just throw uh, half an onion in there. So it's kind of kind of got a little like, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like disintegrated. Oh. Anyway, let's dig in. I'm starving. These potatoes are hella good. Are they? Mm hmm Good. Got some tabatillo here. Corned beef is one of those things that's so yummy. But you only make it on St. Patrick's Day, you know? Here's a, a crispy potato. Yeah, they're good. Um, I oh, and also, sorry. No, go ahead. Happy first day of actual lockdown here in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Yep. Our actual, like, legal, you must walk down started today. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, I made a little, like, mustard. I put, I put honey mustard, Dijon mustard, and then some, uh, a little bit of horseradish in there, give it a little kick. Um, but then I realized that we have this, and this is hella bomb. I didn't need to do anything to that, so who knows. And then we also have this, because we did not film it, but we had McDonald's the other night. I'm just going to be honest with you guys about that. So we, I might dip my potatoes in there. We'll see. But I'm going to actually dig into this Irish soda bread, because I'm curious to see how it came out. It was, like, really nice and, like, crispy, so I'm excited about it. Um, I'm probably gonna use my hands a lot, so mm. don't cringe. Mm, hell good. It is. Um, a little bit better, but mm. I put butter on the outside of it when it came out of the oven. So I'm gonna put a little honey, which is bomb. Mm. We have to get a new setup. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we went out to walk the dogs today. That's allowed. Yeah. And they actually encourage people to go walk. Um, however, they encourage oh. people to go in small groups. If not, I mean, if by yourself, if not in small groups, and you know keep like a six to eight foot distance from other people so it's crazy because you're walking by and then you see somebody like ahead of you and then you realize that it's either them or us that are like stepping off the curb yeah yeah it's, like um, we walked Teddy and people were like like stepping off the curb to like avoid us 
It's weird. Again, I'm thinking nothing bad is going to come of this, you know? But it is, you know, I think it's a good learning experience. Mm. You know? Just yeah. for if and when something, and again, I'm not hoping that this will be horrible, but if in case something horrible does happen, you know, you kind of know what to expect. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I said, I started freaking out before anybody else freaked out, so um, people thought I was being crazy, and then the whole city shut down, so. <laughs> yes. Oh, Teddy. We're curious, though, like, what's going on in your areas, like, if things are not shut down, like, are you being told by, like, your governor and stuff to, like, avoid social situations, or? Also, like, do you guys feel worried? Also, did you guys celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. <laughs> in spite of it all. I'm kind of glad they shut down the movie theaters. Those places are, <laughs> are gross. The <laughs> virus or no virus. <laughs> It was really good. And like there's a couple of movies out right now that I just I hate. I just I just looking at the trailers and I'm just like I don't wanna watch any of this shit. Like what? So I'm kinda glad they're taking the beating. Like the Invisible Men. I don't even know what that is. Well it's the same actress from um Handmaid's Tale. Okay. And we don't like her acting. Oh, she's like we just like to make fun of her. Yeah. Mmm. McDonald's should change the name of this hot mustard Ooh. sauce to corned beef sauce. It's perfect. Mm. My God, this is good. Mm. Thank you. If I were Teddy, I'd be singing backup too. Mm -hmm. Hold out. Mm -hmm. oh. So yeah, it's a little hard to talk because it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. And I've been like cooking it all day, so much excite. Teddy, lay down, Papa. Lay down, please. I'm going to gradually refill my glass so that I don't consume that much green food coloring in like one glass. I mean, it's not green food coloring. It's the luck of the Irish. <clears throat> Have you guys ever had green beer? Actually, I have a funny story. So when I, like a long time ago, uh, I won't say if it's my current job or a past job, but at a job I had, um, we went and it was like an office job. We went for um, like a happy hour after work and we had just gotten this new receptionist who was like really young. Just, I'll just say that she was really young. And um, so we go to this bar and we're having happy hour and uh, the cocktail waitress comes over and we're like, oh, you know, I'll have a Chardonnay, I'll have a martini, I'll take an IPA. And they get to this new receptionist. It's like her second day. And she's like, um, I'll have an Irish car bomb. And she just like proceeded to do Irish car bombs by herself, like at the happy hour. I'd be lying if I didn't admit that by the end of the night I was doing them with her. <laughs> But it still just cracks me up to think that, like, that was, like, her drink. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I always get a martini. Like, or whatever. But, like, her drink was an Irish car bomb. <laughs> right? Oh, Funny. my God. That's a hilarious story. Far off. You should publish that. I don't hear you telling stories. <laughs> <laughs> um. A couple of shout-outs. Mm. There's, um. Uh, how do we decide her last name is? It's either Dennett or Danette, but I think we decided it's Danette. And her first name is Patricia. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we were going back and forth talking about Wendy's. Um, at this point, we published a Wendy's video. We oh. haven't gotten the chance to um, get their breakfast, but we will. Yeah. And we will make a video. Yes. And you'll be the reason that video is made. Yeah, because I actually didn't so even think thank of that. You. Um. But also, 
We have a birthday in the house tomorrow. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. It's my brother Brendan's birthday tomorrow. Um, March 18th. So happy birthday, Brendan. Oh. We love you. Um, another funny story. I don't know if Jose is gonna be impressed with this one, but I'm not. When I was a, when we were kids, my mom told us that my brother Brendan's birthday was St. Patrick's Day, because my mom has a lot of like Irish pride, and so she like always told us that Brendan was born on St. Patrick's Day. And years, years, years goes by, and we we all think this, and then one day Brendan goes to whatever grade he was in, he goes to school on St. Patrick's Day, and he brings cupcakes for his birthday. And the teacher's like, why do you have cupcakes? And she, he goes, oh, for my birthday. And she goes, oh, well, your birthday's tomorrow. And he's like, uh, what? So then my mom had to explain to us all that she'd been lying to us, that Brendan's birthday was actually the day after St. Patrick's Day. And her justification for that was that the hospital robbed him of his true birthday. <laughs> so <laughs> happy birthday, Brendan. Um, furthermore... Uh, cooking, uh, an affinity for cooking runs in my family and Brendan loves to cook too. Um, and so Brendan, I don't know if you guys are on TikTok. We don't know how to use TikTok, uh, but we did download it just to look at Brendan's. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, we did download it just to look at Brendan's, uh, Tiki Talkies and, uh, he makes like little clips, like cooking clips and things like that. And he's a great cook. Like he's like a very impressive cook. So if you guys are into that kind of thing, go check him out. We will put whatever information one needs to locate a TikTok account right here. Uh, but happy birthday, Brennan. Uh, love you very much and hope to see you soon. And hopefully his TikToks are nothing like this. I gotta go my own way. What about us? What about it? And if they are, that's fine. Trust me, they're not. I think they're probably more like like good quality, like this kind of quality. Hmm. Have you guys ever had Irish soda bread? There's like a... Um, you can also put caraway seeds in it. Like that's traditional, but I don't always because like who just has caraway seeds on hand? Yeah. Not me. Uh A couple notes for the recipe portion of this. I microwaved the potatoes a little bit before I baked them because um, before I tossed them in the seasoning and stuff because you can get your potatoes ready in like 20 minutes instead of like an hour. So that's what I did. And then another thing is um, the Irish soda bread calls for buttermilk, but you may or may not know this. If you don't have buttermilk, which like who buys buttermilk? Um, if you do, that's cool. Like, I have nothing against buttermilk. Um, but if you don't have buttermilk, you can put, um, like, basically, I just eyeball it. But if I need, like, a cup of buttermilk, I'll just put, like, maybe about a tablespoon of some sort of acid. Usually, I'll just use, um, like, white vinegar, but you can use lemon juice. Today, I used um, apple cider vinegar, just because that's what was closest to me in the oh. cupboard. <laughs> But just do like a tablespoon of some sort of acid and then fill the cup measure up to a cup with milk and it'll all, it'll all be okay. So that's a great tip. If I do say so myself. Pro tip, if you will. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is hella good, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. No problem, dude. So, you guys... I've told you before, Jose cannot help himself. <laughs> we were he, talking about this last video, so you probably, some of you guys may have Why seen don't you it. tell him what you did? Well, why don't you f confess your sins? Last video, I was like, practically boasting about how much of an <laughs> idiot I am. We were watching Making a Murderer. You guys haven't watched it get on it we need to talk um we were watching it and um 
I said in the video that I like to like for like documentaries and like you know um, series based on true stories I'll go on Wikipedia and figure out what happened before <laughs> the series ends which I don't I don't know why I do it I just kind of like for whatever reason in my mind I'm like yes Jose you're in the know perfect <laughs> and then and then what I end up doing is not purposely spoiling stuff mm -hmm. and so today we're watching an episode and I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys I did it for her <laughs> but uh watch out you probably will before the video is over <laughs> we're watching this scene and all of a sudden I turn Did you around. Did what we're watching? Or? Yeah. Okay. And all of a sudden I turn around and I say something like, Oh, look how this guy's doing. And I show him, and I show her a picture, which totally uh, spoiled what was happening. It's like a present day picture of one of the people in the show. Exactly. And so... But their situation in the, that was evident in the photo told you what the outcome of the court proceedings was. <laughs> yeah. Um, but listen, I'm not sitting here, like, laughing about it. I was legitimately upset he at really myself was. and really feel bad. Like, I, at one point, I was like, Emma, I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose. I know. He felt terrible, which made me, like, reel back in, like, my, what I really wanted to do, which was just, like, chastise the hell out of him. Hits me yeah. like she does. Yeah, just give him two black eyes. But um, he felt so bad, so I couldn't do that. I couldn't gloat. But um, I'm worried I might be, like, touching this microphone the whole time because I'm trying to get away from Teddy. Maybe I can, like, move it. Can I move this here? Yeah. I hope I don't, like, fuck things up. Sorry, it's guys. It's all move our microphones. Yeah, it's just, like, trying to, like, sit really close to this table so that Teddy can't, like, jump on my back and climb up my hair, like Rapunzel. Um... But anyway, so I couldn't gloat, I couldn't rub it in Jose's face, but it, it just really does crack me up because, like, I say this out of love and also taunting because that's our dynamic in our relationship. Like, he cannot help himself. He has to spoil shows. And I have a problem. He does. And the first step to recovery is admitting that you have a problem. Well, guys, as you can see, it's getting closer to the end, y'all. Um... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, um, updating you on what's going on here in San Francisco, um, as well as wishing you a happy St. Patty's Day. Um, we got more videos planned. Um, I'm kind of like um, prolonging the one video about me cooking <laughs> something for Emma, just because I think I can. Um, but it's coming out. Um, it will. Uh, but I think our next video that we're gonna sh that we're gonna shoot, it's gonna be Five Guys Hot Dogs, just because um, I've been thinking about those hot dogs ever since we had Five Guys, and I love hot dogs. So that's gonna be our next video. Um, again, if you guys are new here, hello, hello, welcome. Um, consider subscribing. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. I don't. Even, I don't know what the bell d does, but everyone hits that bell. It's a whole. People it's a love whole hitting bells, man. Yeah. People have chimes, like wind chimes. Well, you know, there could be a prize. What? What was that thing I just blurred? I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> oh, you know, there could be a prize. <laughs> it was excitement. Well, you know, there could be a prize. Well, you know, there could be a prize. <laughs> yeah, I've been hitting bells all day, and so. Go ahead and do that if you will, and then if something happens, let us know. And we've requested this before. We'll do it again. Um, don't be afraid to comment down below and let us know what other channels you guys like to watch. Um, somebody recommended Katina Eats Kilos. I can't remember who that was. All, if I can find the video where somebody said that, Jose will write their name here and like shout out to you. Because Jose outed me and said that I like watching videos of people like gorging themselves with gross amounts of food. And like, that's true. I'll own up to that. We all have our vices. <laughs> and um, so I did start watching Katina Eats Kilos. And she certainly eats kilos. <laughs> um, but if there's... But that's not all we watch. Because he like won't watch that stuff with me. Like he just like does his phone. He finds it gross. 
So if you guys watch any any other YouTubers that you could recommend to us, our niche is like low subscriber count. Like that's what we like. We like like 200 or less subscribers. That's like, I don't know. That's That's like all the stuff we like to watch. So once again, if you guys are so inclined, please wish my brother Brendan a happy birthday down in the comments because Brendan is very supportive, a very supportive older brother and he watches all of our videos and he comments. So, um, tell him happy birthday. We would love you for it. And other than that, happy St. Patrick's Day. And please come back soon, because we're quarantining, baby. You know we're going to be. Yeah, I've been hitting bells all day. You know, there could be a prize. <laughs>